Hi, my name is Colleen Biggs and I'm the founder of Lead Up For Women. Be sure to subscribe below and like us on all of our social media platforms at Lead Up For Women because we are going to be diving into how to create your own business plan and the nine parts it takes to do it. Hello and welcome back again to Creating Your Traditional Business Plan. I'm Colleen Biggs and I'm the founder of Lead Up For Women and it's been an honor to be here with you. And we are on the last two sections, which is the financial projections and the appendix section uh, for you to be able to complete a full traditional business plan to submit for funding, uh, to look for partners or get angel investors. Now, we talked in the earlier video right before this one about the funding requests. I feel like the funding requests and the financial projections you know, pretty much flow together and you'll be referring to each one on, on this section, but you wanna supplement your funding requests with your financial projections. So your goal is to convince this person who is reading and reviewing uh, that your business is stable and that you will be a financial success. So we don't wanna show that you are going to be um, underwater in a year or two. Uh, we wanna show that your business is growing. That doesn't mean that you've paid them back in a year or two. If you have a five-year plan to pay them back or a 10-year plan to pay them back, be very truthful about that. But you wanna show that you're able to have growth in your company and that you can be financially stable. Now, a piece that we haven't talked about is what if you're putting together a business plan, but your business is already established? So say tomorrow, I wanted to put a business plan together. My business has been rolling for two years um, and I've, I've already been established. Well, in this case, you're gonna to wanna to take income statements that you have already financially from your business for the past two years. You wanna take the balance sheet and the cash flow statements for the last three to five years if you've got them, if you've only got them for two years and you're looking for funding after two years, this is where you wanna take those pieces and apply them uh, into this section of your funding uh, financial projections, okay? Um, all right, so provide a prospective financial outlook for the next five years. So include your forecasted income. What does your forecasted income statements look like? What is your forecasted balance sheet looks like in your cash flow statements? These can easily be found online uh, and you can create them online. Again, I work with my clients through these and creating these to put together a business plan. And of course, you can always find us at www.leadupforwomen.com. What is your capital expenditure budgets? You know, what do those look like? What is your budget? Uh, what are your financial projections? Uh, that's why I said we're gonna go back and forth between these two sections, because you wanna show your forecast um, on your financial projections of how much you plan on bringing in for your gross revenue. And then you also wanna show why you need the funding, what you're gonna be spending on, which is gonna be your business expenses. So for the first year, you wanna be very specific. So for the first year, you wanna get down maybe even monthly projections. Um, I, I would say go down to uh, the level of monthly, uh, definitely use quarterly, uh, but get down to the level of monthly. Be very specific about how much money you need, how much money you plan to generate, so how much of that money that you're borrowing you're gonna be using for those business expenses uh, that your revenue is not able to cover yet. And make sure you clearly explain, explain your projections, blah, blah, blah. It's my first time talking today. And match them to your funding requests. That means if you only need $250,000 to get your business up and running successfully, why are you going to ask for $750,000? So ask for the money that you need to be able to pay for your um, your capital, to be able to pay for your business, um, a debt that you're going to have, to be able to pay for the business expenses, to be able to cover for your working capital. This is where you want to make sure you're only borrowing what it is that you need and you're not exceeding that amount because if you can't explain why you need that money in this section, then you're asking for too much money. So make sure you're very specific about how much money it is going to cost for you to put this together and then have them match you on that funding request uh, that you're looking for. And this is a really great place if you want to use a graph or a chart to tell the financial story of your business. Um, this is a great place to do that. And then the last section we wanna cover is the appendix. And the appendix is all of your supporting 
documents. This is the, the, again, probably one of the easiest pieces. So if you have brochures that you've put together for marketing that you're going to be using, uh, even if you're with a franchise company or if you're on your own as an entrepreneur, if you have um, a copy of a business card, if you have a resume or, you know, for all of your, I would get a resume in there for everyone that is an executive in your company and put their credibility and, and credit history uh, and uh, resumes in there. Maybe you have pictures of your product or uh, you've started your website and you've put that together, uh, get some snapshots of the different pages of your website or your Facebook um, platforms or any social media platforms out there, any letters of references. If you have any licenses, if you've already filed for your business license and you have that, you wanna include those here. Any permits, do you have copywriting that you've submitted for? This would be an area or patents um, that you already have whether they're pending or not. So any legal documents, any permits, any contacts, any, any con, con, I'm sorry, contracts uh, that you might already have. This is the section where all of the pieces that you have that shows even more about your business to convince the person who is reading this business plan that you are a viable investment. That is why we're doing this traditional business plan to show that you are worth investing in to show that you have a product or service that's going to knock it out of the park and you've done your research you know that it's going to be a success you've put the work behind it you've shown them the detail and you've asked for the exact amount of money that you need and they've showed you've showed them how you're going to be spending that money and how much money you are going to be making so that wraps up our traditional business plan so again if you have any questions, you can contact me at www.leadupforwomen.com in the About Us section and schedule some time with me. You can comment below as well. And I want to welcome you to subscribe to our channel because this is not the only business tactic we are going to be covering here at Lead Up For Women when you're stepping into the spotlight. We want to make sure that you have every business tool that you could need in running your business and every hack and trick and tool in your toolbox um, for also uh, having a phenomenal life. Uh, and we all know that having success in our personal lives and having success in business is a crucial point um, for most of us in living the life that we desire. So again, thank you for joining me here while we built your traditional business plan.